All right, time for some scary videos, baby. Hope you guys weren't planning to sleep tonight, because that's no longer an option. Top 10 ghosts Brian caught Sean on camera. Win. The ghost in room one. Nuke's top five viewer, Russ, is a certified nursing assistant working in an undisclosed hospital in North Carolina. So early one morning, Russ is called in to monitor an emergency surgery. While on the Here's operating floor, he takes a look at the CCTV camera feeds and notices something truly bizarre in another operating room that's supposed to be empty. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Yo, this place is fucking haunted. Let me show you something, bro. All right, so look, this is channel one. That's room one, right? Thing was standing in the fucking corner. Room one is all the way down there. It's the last. Well, door. we have to fucking hit it with a proton pack. Get in there, nobody's save it. In. We got people in room three doing surgery, but nobody's in here. Look, I've been chilling at the desk, and this thing said movement detected. We got people in here, but not room one, and that thing is gone. I didn't An see it. An odd, pale, translucent with. figure that seems to be wearing a hospital gown can be seen standing in room one, a hospital room used for C-section. I don't see shit. Russ what explains am I looking that only at? room number three was in use for surgery at the time, while room number one, this room, was completely empty. No one was there, nor was anyone mm. even allowed in there. Russ believes the hospital to be haunted. But what do you think? He's probably haunted. Could this be the ghost of a patient who didn't survive, stuck forever inside the hospital? Let me know. The Weeper. A little over a year ago, a Japanese man who goes by the name Yama Q was looking for a rental Thanks home. A he found a nice 40 year old renovated Good house job. in Japan with an incredibly low rental oh. price. Yama was blown away and he happily signed the rental contract right away. But as you might suspect, Yama soon discovered just why the house's rental price was so low. Haunted. You see, the home carries a bit of a dark history. The house's previous owner tragically passed away inside the home's bathroom from an undisclosed illness. Only four months after Yama moves in, strange things begin to happen in the dead of night. Oh, he still takes like a piss and shit? Q starts a YouTube channel and begins to record the increasingly spooky activity around his home. Well, he can't be that powerful if he's just confined to that bathroom, right? Just share the toilet with him. A ghost floater. All oh, true. Imagine. Why are we breaking into the bathroom? Just like open the door. Would have been much easier. Ah, uh, I see why we broke in now. It was like a stealth mission. Night after night, a mysterious knocking sound can be heard coming from the bathroom. No matter how hard he tries, Yamakyu is never able to find the source. He has no idea what could be causing this terrifying phenomenon. One night, Yama is a bit disturbed when a neighborhood dog shows up at his home. The dog is usually quiet and friendly, but this time it seems to stress. I get so fucking annoyed with that something. ghost. Yeah, like what? What is the ghost even doing? Is it trapped in like the toilet tank? Why is it knocking? I was up. Uh... 
The dog aggressively growls and barks at something Yama can't see. The next day, he finds the dog back at its neighborhood home, safe and sound Aww. and friendly as always. But that certainly isn't the end of Yama Q's paranormal problems. Only nine months after moving in, he experiences something truly terrifying. Oh god, the climax? Help! I'm stuck in the shitter! Hey, can you shut the fuck up? Why are we looking at the plane? I don't think he hijacked it. A blood-curdling wail can be heard coming from right outside Yama's living room window. But when he goes outside to investigate, the creepy moaning suddenly just stops. As Yama Q's YouTube audience grows, his many shocked viewers request that he get better equipment to capture the supernatural phenomena. Yama orders a thermal imaging camera and waits for his next opportunity wow, to record right and capture what's going on in his home. And this is where things take a turn towards the truly bizarre. Because one month later, this happens. Whining again, huh, old man? Are we gonna hit him with a frying pan? Oh, he's throwing hot water on him. <laughs> he's gonna boil him alive. I'll teach you to scream. Fucking splash him. <laughs> Imagine being a ghost, you're stuck in a fucking bathroom. You're upset, you're crying, and then some asshole throws scalding water on you. With two cameras ready, Yama goes on the attack as he throws boiling hot water at the spot where the weeping voice seems to be coming from. Whatever is making the noise seems to cry out as the scalding water is thrown, the resub and then Gonzo? all goes quiet. The prime Gonzo and but the nothing resub shows kitty. up on the thermal imaging camera. Oh, the tier one kitty. These days, unfortunately, Yama Q's increased YouTube popularity has led to fresh. unwelcome strangers discovering his address in Japan, and sometimes they just show up at his house unannounced in the hopes of experiencing some of the paranormal activity for themselves. <laughs> Troubled and stressed out by the creepy stalker-like visits Yamaku shares on his YouTube page that sadly, he'll be uploading less often. To this day, Yamaku still experiences horrifying events at his haunted home in Japan. But is it real? Could the wailing voice and aggressive knocking be the spirit of the previous owner who passed away in the bathroom? It probably is, yeah. Let me know what you think. And then he just got his ass fucking mirror, boiled. Mirror. Paranormal investigator Amy from the YouTube channel Shadow Hunters UK TV is joined by fellow ghost hunters Moxley's mm -hmm. Paranormal and Ghosts on Trent as they stay at the infamously haunted 30 East Drive in Pontefract, England. They said that long ago on this very same location, a monk was hanged for taking the life of a young girl. No. The house is said to be haunted by his angry spirit, which they call the Black Monk. Throughout the house, there are CCTV cameras installed and one of them captures a very bizarre and chilling event as Amy simply looks at herself in the upstairs bedroom mirror. She makes like a creepy smile. Oh, Whoa! Amy's face appears to distort into a horrifying gaping maw, 
Her mouth opens up to such an impossible extent that the investigators believe that they might have captured oh a paranormal God. transfiguration. The video is definitely very creepy and doesn't appear to be a digital glitch. But just what do you weird. think happened here? Let me know. Down the monk in the tried to like enter you can her watch throat. The full two-part investigation at the Haunted 30 East Drive over on the YouTube channel Shadow Hunters UK TV. The demon down the hall. Supernatural investigator Cody Aaron says hey, in his Cody. YouTube and TikTok videos that he doesn't believe that ghosts are real, or at least that they aren't the lingering spirits of love. humans. Instead, he believes that all paranormal how, experiences how are actually demonic in nature. Food. Cody says that he has successfully helped troubled families struggling with demonic presences for years. So when a family member reaches out to Cody about the terrifying activity occurring in their office building, the concerned hmm. investigator doesn't hesitate to offer a helping hand. But what he encounters in this office building even takes him by surprise. Cody a records as he explores worker. the creepy empty office space at night. What happens next is downright chilling. Okay, you guys, so uh, this is the door that moves on its own. And that's the chair that moves on its own. Oh, haunted chair. And uh, I did one of these. I'm just... Tired, you know, there's yeah! here this time. Behind I've, you, Cody! I've not seen anything. Uh, it's 946, and usually everything happens by this time, but nothing's going on. Oh my there god, if only he knew! It's usually here today, so I kind of guess maybe that's what it is, and I'm just going to call it a day. Uh, I'll start again. Tomorrow, maybe, and we'll see what. It's the go. Don't go back, Cody. Apparently, okay. this was an office so, space uh, that only hired children. I'm the only one here right now, and the door just closed on its own. No, Cody, don't. Oh. the The chair is gonna move. Oh my god. Oh my god. The ghost is still trying to finish its Excel spreadsheets. And you've interrupted it now, Cody. Jesus Christ. Did you see it? Cody is completely unaware of what appears to be a small ghost ah! standing right behind him. When he walks into the room the figure appeared in, a door behind him slams shut. After reviewing his spooky footage, the investigator decides to return for another night. Kyle. And it did not go well. Okay, so I'm here by myself. All of these green lights means that there's no motion, right? Look in this room. Nosferatu? What in the world is that? Who is that is a better question. That is insane. I have never seen something like this. This is directly beside me in the next room. Well, go say hi, fucking asshole. He clearly wants your attention. Did you see that? It disappeared. What in the world? Oh, well, I got tired of waiting. Like, what do you want? Okay. I, I'm going over. I, I have to see what this is. See? And look. Thanks to the Here is motion page. detection for me in this room. There I am on the screen. There's no motion to take. Look, look, it's moving. And there's then no go motion over there. Right there. That is nuts. Look at that. He's not gonna be there all night, Cody. <sighs> Let's do it. Thanks, like reset potato. Wait. It's you. You've made okay. him mad. Yeah. I'm gonna need Eric's help for this. I, I'm not gonna do this by myself. What? Why? This Cody is the whole point of you being suddenly here. Suddenly, a loud voice yells, "Leave!" Leave! So, could it be that the office building is haunted by a demonic presence? Yeah. Or could it all just be an elaborate hoax? Uh, elaborate might not be the word I'd use, but it is check possible. Check out more paranormal moments over on Cody Aaron's TikTok page and YouTube channel. Signs and signals. Ghost Hunters Dave and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals were contacted by one of their viewers about a home that they were renovating to be sold. 
During renovations, they experienced loud, unexplained knocking and banging. And objects seemed to mysteriously move around all on their own. The renovators got so spooked that they put a complete stop to the project. The house has been sitting empty ever since, with no hope of it ever being sold. Dave and Dell head out to investigate the house and search for a possible cause for the unexplained terrifying events. As soon as the guys arrive and step out of their car, they already hear strange banging sounds coming from inside the dark, creepy house. I got it, I got it, I got it. Hey, look, dude. They're trying to have sex you in there, that, man. Right? Like, what the fuck do you want? It's an abandoned house. Yeah. It's just... Dude, I'm not going in there. You are out of your f mind. If Why you did you get in the car? That what do you they mean? They here and here, but damn, yeah, I know. That's. So like what we heard Where's the flashlight? You got the flashlight? Yeah. Yeah. Get that bag. Get the bag. God. What the f man? Damn. Dude, come on, man. I know we ain't about to go. I really in think here. all homeless uh, homeless oh, people oh, should yeah. find houses oh, in like other places like this and just live there. What, what are we supposed to do? Just wait for paranormal investigators she to show up one like day for a YouTube video on. and scare them. What? She said there were bangs like this? Yeah, I mean, she said that the cruise was getting run up by bangs and things move around. And Exit the bit if, if this is paranormal thing, then we need to have this on camera. All homeless people should find houses. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you boil it down to the cliff notes. Yeah, yeah. Was that a bird? Yeah. Dude, oh, Dale. Yeah, they didn't even come here with boiling water. Yo! Anybody in here? Dave and Dell look through the entire house and find nothing and no one to explain the banging sounds they heard. Then, things get weird. Are they overcome with like a love potion or something? They start flirting with each other? How weird are we talking, eh? Ain't nobody you get a little goofy? Else. Does anybody here like to communicate? Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh. Goodness gracious! While exploring one of the rooms, close. loud banging absolutely scares the sh out of the two ghost hunters and they make a run for it. Then before they can even get out, a heavy hallway door slams shut right in front of them. After uploading their video to YouTube, many viewers requested that the two investigators head back to the haunted house <laughs> one final time. Slightly I love the commenters terrified. say, can you go back until you two die? friends agree. When they are about to enter the building through the front door, Dave hears... Mm, something. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. God damn <laughs> You scared the shit out of me. You sound like you scared the shit out of yourself. Nice. Yo. Dave tries to joke around as they are about to enter the house, but both of the guys are feeling quite a bit nervous. Once inside, the two friends search through the entire house, chumps. checking every room. But, well, nothing happens and no one's there. But then, they hear something horrifying. The ghost shit itself too. I know you're fing with me, dude. Is that up? Oh, that ain't upstairs, that's back there. Listen. It is. Dude, it is back like, here. It's the creepiest thing I've ever heard. Why is that so creepy? It's just a music box. Pussy. Thanks to reset Hello? Alfonso. Dale, you ain't with me, are you? No, 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 no. I got the knife. I swear to God, if you're with me. Just... Let me get it. Hello? Oh, don't open it! It's an ice cream truck ghost! God, this is really fucking loud. Jesus Christ. 
I don't even know if they play music. Why is it so fucking loud? Man, you crazy. It's the Brian Jake and we're nervous. We can't just run from this People get Turn it off! Oh my god, it's hurting my ear. What the am I looking at? Alright, now's the time to tell me if you're really messing with me. Are, are you are you messing with me? Yeah, I walked all the way back here and started- I don't know, you do some crazy shit. Turn the fucking that. torch off! Oh, Jesus, or shit your pants again. I don't care, man, but god, it's loud. Straight up, bro. That's some- I ain't messing with you. Look all the- how does that make me count? God damn. Yeah. This is gonna be a headache. Holy shit. Dave and Dell find the music box playing inside one of the bedroom closets. You said Pyro. And Dave turns toward Dell, a dark figure, to be seen in the reflection of a mirror night. hanging on the closet door. Whoever or whatever it is appears to just be watching the two investigators from the other room. Dave and Dell decide to leave the house, having no clue of what they just captured. You can watch this entire two-part investigation over on the YouTube channel, you watch the new Signs vid? and yeah. Signals. I haven't seen the new tube vid yet, I'll watch it. I don't feel like finishing it, that, that was so fucking loud. Gave me a headache.